Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck. Truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground. you can see from the title of the video um, I'm just here to give my honest opinion about the Audi e-tron GT um, it's a beautiful car don't get it twisted but it's a couple things that need to be said before you purchase your electric car or let me just say your Audi e-tron GT okay stay with me okay so you can tell by the inside you know you got your, your Audi symbol on here you got your of course I only got 95 miles I haven't driven it in like seven days so it's just been sitting up I just got it washed as you can see from the video it has your back cam uh, let me put it apart for you guys okay and then we're gonna take this off yeah it has the whole little the, the seat the roof is dope what they call this a panoramic roof with the back and everything like that um it's a hundred thousand dollar car and i wouldn't recommend it don't spend your money and i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit why i don't like electric okay so you guys i wrote down a couple things in my phone so i can go ahead and tell you guys this is just my opinion some people love electric and some people don't like it including myself but i'm gonna tell you guys step by step on why and y'all let me know down below just like comment subscribe even if you have to and let me know how you feel about this video okay okay so you have a, a fast charger or a turbo charger which it'll probably on an empty tank it'll probably take you for my car it takes me an hour and fucking 40 minutes for a full charge too much time to be wasted i would rather buy gas all day every day now since i've had an electric car i appreciate gas so much i know everybody want to go electric but they don't they didn't quite think that out when they wanted everybody to go electric because you gotta you gotta duke it out at these charging stations because people be waiting and be like oh i was waiting for this charger for an hour you sitting there getting into it with people at the charging stations and all type of shit people getting robbed at the charging station because we just sitting there sitting there Sorry, somebody was calling. They will start calling when I'm trying to film. You know, hold on. Okay, so that's a turbo charger. Level two charger. It will take your vehicle 10 to 12 hours to fully charge. If you got an emergency, ain't no way in hell you be like, oh, I can't make it. My 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 uh wife in label and I can't get there. Give me 12 hours to get there. Something happened to somebody close to you and you can't get there in time? No. You're going to be late to an event. It might be a, a, a hell of an event. You got an Uber. You got a whole core that you're paying for that you can't drive because you can't get there because it's not charged. Okay? You don't know how many times I said I couldn't meet y'all uh, on time because I had to go wait an hour to charge my core. A waste of time. Okay? So, I'm a people who are homeowners and have that home charging station. That's, only, that, that's the only people that I recommend it to if you have a charging station at home. Okay, so if you stay in an apartment and they don't have a charging station or, so in my case, charging stations are anywhere from 10 to 20 miles away from where I live now. Yeah, it's not going to work. So not only is charging stations too far for me and it's a waste of my time, so I got to drive all the way over there, get a full charge and then waste mileage to come all the way back home is like uh-uh who wants to do that no no and then you get to the charging stations and they're full it takes an hour hour and a half for somebody to charge if all of them full you gotta wait an hour to get a charger and then plug up and wait another motherfucker out who got time that is three hours out of your day. Two and a half, three hours out of your day. You could have been doing something else productive with yourself. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Another thing. I do not think that electric vehicles are safe for women. These days, people are robbing any and everybody. And they know we'll be sitting in our cars at charging stations, charging for an hour. We'll, we're, we are an easy target. Okay, so for all my women, even with men, it's not just, I don't want to be biased and just say women, I mean men, but I mean women, but 
Yeah, it's not. Especially, you can't, you don't want to charge at nighttime because you just sit in your court. And sometimes the store is closed. It just depends on what time you get there. It's just different things. I just don't feel, I don't think that they planned it out and put enough charging stations for people to just go and plug and do what they need to do. And that goes for another thing. If you don't sit in your court, you're supposed to be saving money going electric, right? Most charging stations are at like a Walmart, H-E-B, next to a restaurant. You spending more money trying to kill time on waiting for your quarter charge. You might as well shoot about gas. If you thought about saving money, you're really not saving money because you were going Walmart. Oh, don't let Target get charging stations. Whoo! That's deadly. Deadly. Okay, so I didn't want to make that video too long for y'all. Oh, 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 one more thing. They don't have no parts for the vehicle. No part. If something go wrong with your Audi e-tron, they don't have no parts. It'll take months. So you'll be paying for this expensive ass car and they really don't have parts. Gosh. Well, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have an electric vehicle, please tell me how much uh how many miles you get on a full charge if you like it or not is it convenient for you and yeah and stay tuned